guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Invader Zim. I'm going to be using this Prismacolor Premier Black. Uh, somebody, uh, one of you guys sent it to me. That's awesome. I appreciate it so much. And these, uh, these though, these are just, these are just some crummy uh, colored pencils. So I'm going to use them as a, kind of an aid to help me out when I'm talking about. So right off the bat, we're going to draw Zim, by the way. <clears throat> Zim's head is very cubical, you know what I mean? It's almost like a cube being pinched at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So, I w honestly, the truth is, the way I think about it, is I would actually think about his head as completely, uh, like, like, go full cube with it in terms of the way you're thinking in your mind. And uh, say something like this. It's like a cube being squished down. It's kind of it's gonna go this way, and then to the, it's gonna have that's kind of what that's indicating the side of his side plane. You know what I mean? And it's gonna tie down here, almost like a balloon. I'm gonna do that as a visual aid. I want to try these. Got that kind of balloon head thing going on, and his body's gonna be very tiny in comparison to his upper torso. It's almost like the reverse. It's kind of like out, in, and then out again, kind of like an eight. And he almost has his entire little skirt going on. put in the legs there. I put them in as simple sticks first. The reason I do that is because they're entirely shaded black, so I might as well just leave them as sticks. He has this kind of spider backpack going on, that kind of those legs that come out of that contraption. And his arms are to the side. But they kind of flare out. You can do that just all dark by manipulating shapes. I'm using a black, like I said, black color here. Uh, remember the tube kind of aspect of this? Um, see how this line is? You're going to duplicate that line because you're going to imagine this thing cut in slices. I talked about it with in the other video. But imagine that cut as a slice or a rubber band around his body. Is going to come out wrap around remember that that's such a big deal I've noticed uh, is kind of that the thinking in 3d aspect is so unbelievably important and you can go down I'm gonna flesh out his feet see his legs are already there for me I'm just gonna give it a little bit of thickness he's wearing these shoes This show is, like I said, has been one of my favorite shows. One of those shows I couldn't let go almost. It's too bad that the creator doesn't want to bring the show back because it really has the audience to bring it back now, I think. And so now we have kind of the body and the head put in. We're going to go to the eye. His eyes are basically eggs. And they're a huge, huge part of his head. Um, <clears throat> let me get an eraser. I have a kneaded eraser right here. I'm going to erase this line right there. Ooh, it doesn't erase very well. Ah, well. I'll just have to go over it. Just remember, <laughs> I pressed too hard, I think, on this particular pencil. The highest point, though, is going to be on this, probably like the inside, within the inside of the line. The I kind of messed up there. The reason to have the highest point on the inside, see, on the inside of this line instead of the outside, is because the highest point 
the widest point on the outside would make it look like the eyes floating off the face, you know. Highest point on the inside would make it look like it's on the face. That eye right there as well. And then he's got this confused look. That's the look we'll go for today. This guy was lower lip, just kind of like jutting out, like, hmm, what's going on? Darken the outer lines over here. A little bit more of a value. You can throw some uh, highlights. He has two highlights all the time, on the top and on the bottom. And then his antennae, antenna. They taper. Remember that it's not just a straight line. They taper. They go from kind of fat. And let me indicate that as well. Let let's see. Let's zoom in. If it was zoomed in, it would look something like that. They go fat to thin. It's almost nothing. It's like a swipe. So that's what you're doing over here, but like a much smaller scale. You know what I mean? And then they go down. The down the downward part is really just a straight line on its own almost. I guess it has a little bit of a taper, but not much. Um, keys to remember. Remember how that his, remember the, the fact that his body is so big if you realistically shouldn't even be able to walk. You know what I mean? His head is huge. <laughs> it wouldn't really make a lot of sense. But just kind of keep that in mind is how big his head really is compared to his body and I honestly honestly I think I maybe drew his body a little too big to be honest so anyways guys that's just a little bit uh, some notes on drawing Zim let me actually let me go over one of some things about the way he looks uh, if you want to let me give you one expression then one expression he always did was the kind of the kind of like wah look and that's really easy. You have to keep one eye the same and then change the other eye into uh, I don't want to do it over it. Let me let me maybe I can do it over it in a different color. No, that's okay. Let me do it over here on the side. So keep that eye like the same when you want to do that confused look, but make this eye or whichever eye kind of rectangular as if it's it's kind of being shut. It's almost like going into nothing. You know what I mean? It's still sticking out the side of the face though, which is funny. And that's kind of a highlight. The way I like to think of it, it's almost like the Invisible Man covered the top part and the bottom part up. You know what I mean? It doesn't actually shrink the way a normal eye would. There's not a lid coming over it, it's just the entire eye itself is shrinking. Um, that's anyway, anyways, just small note. If you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, I might do some more Invader Zim inspired ones because that is a really, really one of my favorite cartoons. So let me know if you want to see anything else. Um, I want to do more animated stuff too. So let me know if you guys want to see any more animation related things. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. I'll see you later and uh, I'll talk to you soon.